Hey guys, what's up? Carter here. Got another video for you. This is a little impromptu, uh, which most of my videos are actually. But this all comes about with a because of a comment that was left on a video I did recently about how I clean lube and strop. Uh, the comment was left by a really cool guy that watches a lot of my videos. He's totally awesome. Um, and he pointed out a couple other videos uh, that relate to it. And basically what the gist of it was is that these other videos were saying that Ballastol, which I recommended to clean and lube, can actually dissolve because it is a, a somewhat caustic cleaner agent, uh, can actually dissolve some softer metals. And this all came about because I guess the original video was somebody saying that when they put their guns up for storage, they coat it in Ballastol to protect it and some of the guns that he had, I guess, had some gold leaf and stuff on there. So this other guy said, no, you shouldn't do that because it'll actually dissolve that gold leaf over time. So that got me wondering if Ballastol might not be the best substance to lubricate your knives with. That's what's so great about YouTube, right? You can say something, somebody says, well, you know, maybe you shouldn't do that. And then uh, you can change your ways or publish your ways or whatever. Anyways, um... So I'm going to do a little experiment. I've got the two most popular washers out there. Got to make sure and get a close-up look because um, basically I'm sure you get the gist. I am going to soak this stuff in Ballastol for an undesignated amount of time as of now. And then we'll take a look at it and see if we can notice any anywhere. Let me actually take this off camera real quick so I can look at it. It's got a little bit of dirt on there, you know, it is just a washer, so it does have some, you know, like the, uh, ooh, the edges there are not perfectly smooth. I don't know if it'll focus this close. The edges uh, are not perfectly smooth, however, the surface of it is smooth. There's no pitting or anything like that. And I'm just saying all this is kind of a, a record of how it started out, so when we look at it after the experiment we kind of know what we are dealing with come on camera yeah there we go so yeah it's not uh, perfect but the surface is smooth so this is a uh, Teflon washer quite popular just all across the board a lot of cheap knives use them a lot of expensive makers will use them and here is the bronze phosphorus washer another very popular washer personally my favorite I would like to test the Nylatron washers and Emerson's but I just I don't have any Nylatron washers I can sacrifice so yeah so pretty good condition on both of these so I will let them soak first we gotta get a nice bath of this oil going here and I think I'll cover this with uh, saran wrap just to get a good <laughs> get a good feel yeah that's awesome okay I think we've got enough fluid there and let's just see if uh, this ballast all causes any damage now I was thinking a week but uh, let me know what you guys think. And also, let me know, do you think I should like flip them or move them around or just put them in here for a week? <coughs> oh, man. This says it's uh, non-carcinogens and stuff like that. But oh, when it gets in your lungs, it just it doesn't seem right. And it is flammable. So, so anyways, let me know if, if you think a week's good or if I should go longer, less. Um, oh, and also let me know if you think I should do an update like after a couple days We could take a look at it or if you think who gives a crap, you know We'll just do the beginning and then the very end or whatever. Give me your opinions and we'll just uh, Take it from there. All right guys. Catch you later